Uh, leading things off, we thought we'd bring in the defending race winner uh, from last year's NASCAR Nationwide Series race. And right off the uh, practice, uh, I was going to say practice fields, but these aren't fields, but right off the, uh, the track uh, is Ryan Blaney, and he just, he's driving the number 29 Cooper Standard Careers for Vets Ford uh, this weekend. And Ryan, uh, you know, you're coming back to a racetrack, also be running double duty. You'll be running the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. So uh, you'll, uh, you'll be able to see Ryan Blaney uh, uh, several times here in the media center. Uh, this weekend, but just talk about uh, coming into a place you've won here before in the NASCAR Nationwide Series race last year. It's a big win for you. Uh, and talk about trying to defend that crown and then also uh, racing in the Camping World Truck Series and then maybe a little bit about how the test went for you as well. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, we, like you said, we won this race last year here with the, the Penske guys and um, you know, that, that's huge for as a confidence builder for for any driver when you're coming back to a racetrack that you won at previously you just feel some sort of comfort with the racetrack and you feel like you get the racetrack a little bit more and it kind of knows where the track goes at night so and your team's always really confident whenever you come back here so uh, we've had really good runs in, in both series and nationwide and truck here last year we had a really good shot at the win and unfortunately i got put in the wall and, and that kind of didn't make that happen but um i've always been a big fan of kentucky i've I've loved it ever since I came here in 2012. So i um, really excited to be back. And um, practice went pretty good today in our nationwide car. I'll be in that 12 snap-on car for for Penske uh, Friday night. And um, like I said, hopefully we can have a good run in that. Very good. And uh, uh, we'll take some questions for Ryan Blaney. Uh, if you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get to you. We've got a wireless out here. Anybody have a question for Ryan? Want to talk about the test or anything that's uh, going on in uh, – in his season right now, anybody? Right here, Tom from uh, Cincinnati. I'll be able to hear you. Yeah, um, the corners and everything like that are pretty much the same. As far as bumps, but I'm not sure what they did at the start finish line if they tried to reseal it or or do something to that. But it's really rough over the start finish line now for some reason. Um, and it looks like they put new pavement there and, and it didn't really sit very well. But um, other than that, the racing surface is, is still very good. And you know, that's what gives this racetrack such great character is the bumps here. And you have to have your car or truck going over the bumps uh, really well. And that's something we've been really good at, whether on the truck or nationwide side. So, um, and talking about the pumps, I actually got a nosebleed during practice. That, that will say how bumpy this racetrack is uh, right in the middle of practice. So um, it, it's definitely one of the roughest places, but that's what makes it such a unique racetrack. Other questions? I'm going to ask you one. Talking about the uh, character of the racetrack and, and, and so forth, every track is different that you guys race at. So how do you... How do you simulate something like coming to a place like this, or do you just get out there and try to, to try to get after it? I mean, how how are you able to uh, to uh, to get this track uh, in your wheelhouse, so to speak? It's really tough. Um, you know, this is definitely the roughest place we go. Um, any other place to compare it to is like we were in Rockingham in 2013 with the trucks, and that's a good good rough place to compare it to, and. Um, you know, Texas, you can kind of take a little bit away from that to try to help your setup here at Kentucky. But um, even as a driver coming to this track for the first time in 2012, it's really tough to get used to and adapt to just because you have to know where the bumps are and try to avoid them and uh, or know what it's going to take to get your vehicle running well over the bumps. So, uh, like I said, that's just what makes it such a great racetrack and such a fun character. And you always see great racing. Uh, you know, we got three lanes we can run on and you'll see us all over the racetrack. So um, that's what makes it such a such a fun race. And also, you since you are running the double, uh, being a young person like you are, I know for people like Kyle Busch, Keselowski, and, and others, sometimes that's old hat. But for a person like you that's coming up in the sport, how challenging is that to be in the Nationwide Series car today? Uh, tomorrow you have to, uh, you know, get in that Camping World Truck Series uh, vehicle. How difficult is that uh, to be able to, to balance going back and forth? Uh, it can be difficult, but, you know, we always, drivers always talk about track time and seat time and 
um, you know, we'll, we'll want as many laps as we can over the course of a weekend. And, you know, that's what I think makes, you know, Kyle Busch or Brad so good is because they have so many laps under their belt, uh, you know, because they'll run, you know, sometimes they'll run triple headers and you know, they'll run 500 laps or, you know, 600 laps a weekend. Uh, and that's just, you know, time on the racetrack and, and you know what, uh, what it's going to do. So uh, I love double headers or I, I love uh, double duty. I like racing twice a weekend and, uh, you know, it's always cool to go race with the Penske guys uh, along with this BKR team. So I love doing it and I wish I could do more of it. Uh, I think the last double header I had was at Kansas when we were in the truck and cup car. So, um, I like doing them and it really prepares you for that second race. You know, you can take a lot away from, I'll take a lot away from the truck race tomorrow night and, and apply it to that nationwide car. So there's a bunch of, of benefits when you do that. Good deal. Question right over here, Adam. Coming back to a track where you've won, you had success here last year. Uh, how's that going to translate for both races, the, having that confidence of being a winner even into the truck series tomorrow? Yeah, um, you know, like I said earlier, just it's a big confidence booster for the driver, for the teams, uh, knowing that you've had good success here. And, uh, you know, fortunately, we got the nationwide win last year, and, and we had a really good shot at the truck win last year. Uh, and so, you know, they're kind of coming back with, with an attitude of we should have won that truck race and um, you know we're, we're going to try our best to win it this year so it's just that mentality that really puts you or the driver and the team kind of over the top and, and gets them in that mindset of of hey you know we should have won here we have won here and, and we can go out and do it this weekend so it's just a huge uh, booster for the whole team in general.